If this episode's up early, it's up early. If it's up late, it's up late. It's just a lot's happening today, so I don't know when this will be uploaded, but if you're watching this now, then it's already uploaded, so that's all that matters. Hello everyone, it's Liam Cannison here with episode 21 for Arrow Season 6, and I'm really, really ready to see uh, what Dragon... I mean, Dragon... I assume we're going to have the trial uh, for Oliver this week, uh, considering, you know, how... Dragon was, after their little fight stipulation thing, uh, he was, Oliver was originally going to be booted out of town by Dragon, but Dragon was like, hang on, I'm going to bump up the, the trial hearing for a week, so I'm assuming, you know, that's going to happen, but, um, yeah, I mean, Dragon just looks more and more in control and more dominant, um, so, yeah, it's really, really concerning times, and we've only got a few weeks left to go, so I'm really, really interested to see how they handle this whole situation with a few weeks left to go to what has been an interesting season of Arrow because, you know, the first half was, okay, that's all it was in my opinion. I think the only standout episodes, barring the, you know, Crisis on Earth X thing, because that was a four, that was a four-parter, of course, uh, was the uh, Deathstroke two-parter. And ever since, you know, Caden's death, I think things have... Pick, have seemingly picked up quite a bit um, for season six, so uh, it'll be very, very interesting to see how they do cap this off and how they do end Dragon's story if they do choose to go that way. I mean, you know, he could be like, you know, slide and return in a couple of seasons or whatever. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But yes, um, Arrow season six, episode 21. So without further ado, let's just delve into this episode. This is Arrow. Let's go. So I'm wondering, what, is this Argus Tickle? Because, I don't know, no, it just looks like, oh wow. <laughs> Not even face, didn't even flinch. Yeah, because he's got like the Argus kind of equipment on, I don't know. I need your help in Star City. Wait, what? Who? I'm confused. What also hasn't changed is the position that he's in right now. He knows it's for the gr it's he he's knows because of me. Taking some play, wow. I was gonna say he knows that Oliver's got a responsibility. Oliver, no matter what our feelings are about Oliver, none of us want him to go to prison. Am I right? Might be still bitter. Damn right. from behind a mask. So Wait. That he could take the law into his own hands. Is that General Hale? In fact, he's taken as many lives as he saved. What are you doing at Star oh, yes. City? You should be, Oliver you know, is a hero. trying to destroy the Earth. Wait, that doesn't what? Mean he's not also a criminal. Neither of you would let somebody else tell you what to do or have you running scared. Do you think your law would stand up to Diaz? I yes, know it. she would. Well, maybe Our law if she were would. a little smarter, she wouldn't have gotten herself killed. I think that's all to do with the shitty writing. You have the worst luck ever. Well... Who is Sean Sonis? Objection. Relevant. It's overruled. Your Honor. I said overruled. Answer the question. She's she's just being as you know. A drug dealer I investigated while undercover. Frustrating as she is on agents of shield. Ever since I torched Federico on that rooftop. Uh oh. He's starting to get him. Been keeping your distance from me. Oh god. I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. It's okay. I just want to be a little clearer. Shit! You know what I'm talking about now? I just want her to canary cry him so bad. Good girl. And it's so easy to do so as well, but Laurel needs that... Oh, she needs that push. I don't know. Ballpark it for me? I don't know. There's too many to count. Ouch! Order. That's gonna hold up well. Prosecution rests, Your Honor. Jump off a building. The way he just had his hands on her, like, don't screw this up. What a dick. Get a chance to actually live my life. That will never happen if I tell the whole world that I'm the Green Arrow. Wow, that was, I mean, 
you can see why he's wanting to protect the fuck. You don't Tony Stark. Have you yourself ever engaged in cybercrime? No, I haven't. Well, she did. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, with those 10,000 lives, I was going to point out. He sacrificed himself to protect the identity of a man that the city, at the time, referred to as the Hood or the Arrow. I was going to say, I doesn't that... that the Green Arrow is the same person. But that's not you. It's absolutely I was going to say, like, if everyone believes that's two separate yes, identities, they are but completely... His identity. You lied about five years of your life, which begs the question, Mr. Queen. Here we go. What else have you lied about? Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? <gasps> no, no. Quiet. Quiet. Top. Top. Please state your name for the record. Thomas wait, Merlin. Wait, what? Tell me it's fine if you want. Mr. Merlin, you were declared dead May 15, 2013. That night my father destroyed a large portion of the city. Tommy! With a heightened scrutiny on my family, I took the opportunity to fake my own death to protect my identity as the Hood. Three years ago, Roy Harper confessed to being the Hood. To protect wait, I'm, I'm confused. And then he was attacked. Mr. Merlin. You're under arrest on suspicion of murder, assault, and violation of the anti vigilante. Wait, was this Diggle's plan? Bailiff will remand Mr. Merlin into custody? Objection, Your Honor. It's the people's contention that Mr. Merlin here is not the Green Arrow. Be that as it may, yeah, he just revealed himself. This is the closest you we're going to get to Merlin being the Dark Archer. Two is going to extract me before I ever get to prison, so. <laughs> get him here. Wait, I'm confused. Thanks for doing this. My pleasure. I'm so. Spartacus. What? It's Christopher Chance. Oh. Yeah, I think I bought you a perjury charge back there when they. Small price to pay for a clear conscience. I cannot handle losing you on William. Wow. He's willing to risk that. It's just pretty. It's just pretty shitty, though. I mean, yes, the lives he killed, they could have been, they could have been incarcerated or whatever, but the defendant here to be fair, they probably deserved death. You were the vigilant. <laughs> Who is the Green Arrow? <laughs> Laurel just with the surprise shoe in, I am. Tommy Merlin. Oh, that's gonna Oliver piss the ass off. Good girl, good girl, See, that's a good girl. <laughs> She's just looking at the camera like, like, like I know you're watching. Oliver Queen has people and resources at his disposal to do whatever it takes to keep his secrets. That means hire people as the Green Arrow. I mean, would they look at the Diggle thing, like the whole with a false different and a build that he's story. got? Because Tommy Merlin is just got images another of Diggle being Arthur. Green. Oh, he's just another, another patsy. man. Willing to go to prison to cover up the crimes that that man committed. Don't let him get away with it. Not again. Not ever again. Here's another question. Who the hell cares? If that happens... I want you to be the Connor Hawk. ...has assured me that she is going to make sure you grow into the man. That I know you can be. I don't want you to go. I don't want to go either. Mm, no, I'm not. No. I, I don't. It's too soon. We find the defendant guilty. Anyway. Anyway. Of the jury. Of course, thanks you for your service. Uh, Defense moves for judgment notwithstanding the, the verdict. Ms. Lawrence presented was so conflicting that it created reasonable doubt. The defense motion for judgment notwithstanding the verdict is granted. Mr. Queen, see probation. Then you're free to go. Yes. Okay, well, at least we got somewhere. We got somewhere. Awesome. Whew. Oh my god, how is this possible? I don't know. Nothing's impossible. Like, nothing's impossible, though, is it? It's just very unlikely, and we won un un unlikely. Mr. Diaz isn't the forgiving type. 
It was chance. Oh my god, that's what. Surprise. I'll forgive him. I won't forgive. I won't when did appreciate the Tommy shit, but I can you know forgive him for that. that. Rolled, but no one's gonna believe him. Thanks again, man. I owe you another one. Yeah, well, after <laughs> You can take a shot at me if you want to. Because it's gonna ruin me saying thank you. <laughs> I think they were aware, like, every, every time Renee used to speak, he always threw a shot at Ollie. Thank you. Don't mention it. When I rolled over on you last I November, I was thinking about my kid, even though I knew it meant to take you away from yours. I'm really sorry. Apology accepted. He said it. Broke into my chambers and knocked me out. Oh. <laughs> Team Arrow just had an innocent Maybe guy killed. Well, country. it's going to hell. Shh. Get your hat. Oh, dearie. Go on, Laurel. Come on, Laurel. You really must be stupid. Come on, Laurel. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted. Go on, team. <laughs> Fool me once. Oh no! Wait, is he? Ah, oh, that's why. Is that a sonic screwdriver sound? That is a sonic screwdriver sound. I'm positive. Good luck. And anyone? And everyone he cares about. It's a Prometheus shit, basically. Just break him. Break him. Good luck, because Agent Chase tried. It's only Samantha died, I guess, but... You'll have a good job trying to kill Oliver. Well, that was... In... I can't believe it, though. Two arrows just had the judge killed, basically. I mean, yes, he was probably blackmailed by Diaz or whatever. Um, not good to be in business, but then again, Diaz is a scary individual. And, uh, I mean, like, even for the vigilantes, you know, when he, um, you know, when he had his hands on Zoe... It was, you know you, you know, you have that moment to freeze up and, you know, make these irrational choices and choices that would basically, you know, save your skin, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they just, they just haven't killed. So, oh well. Um, yeah, that was, that was crazy. I think it was handled a lot better than, than the trial of uh, Barry Allen. Although there, of course, there is a, there are still... Issues, of course, that's brought up. I mean, one, it was even said in, in you know, court that, you know, Oliver saved, Oliver's been a savior many times. Like, he saved lives many, like, well, that's what he does anyways. And the lives he's killed, it's not out of, like, it, it's to, di I, know, I know, killing is not really the justable option, but they were, they were dicks anyway, so, yeah. It's, like, if you, if you want to bring up Rez Al Ghul, of course, then, you know, he was a complete dick as well, so, yeah. Damien Dark, well, he killed Laurel, so he deserved it. Um, I mean, he's killed a lot of lives, of course, but, not just that, he has saved, he's been part of, you know, saving the Earth from an alien invasion. He saved it against Nazis from another Earth. He, um, He's done all of this stuff, and then people, and then now he's going to get locked away for it. So, well, he was going to, but um, thanks to Christopher Chance, which I'll get onto in a minute, because I hate him, but I love him as well. Um, so, yeah, th of course, there are, there are bound to be that issues, especially if you're bringing a hero like Oliver into court and whatnot. Like, I mean, he's, he's, he, saved, he saved the world, so, you know... At least credit. I was just thinking. Wait, was it like this time last year or whatever? He was still, you know, praised for you know saving the Earth against aliens and whatnot. And then you just got to consider that Nazis came around and he helped save the world uh, from Nazis. So yeah. Um, but nobody likes vigilantes. Fuck vigilantes. <laughs> um, no, it was, it was, yeah, like I said, it was handled a lot better than the trial of Barry Allen, in my opinion. It was very, very interesting, especially with how they brought Christopher Chance involved, of course. I completely forgot about him because he was just brought in for one episode, I believe, of season five. I think it was episode five. I can't remember. But um, it was, I know it was the early part. Um, 
because we didn't see him for the rest. Like, I think he could have been used maybe for other parts of the season. I don't know. All I just know is he's, like, got this great ability and, um, you know, that we only saw him for the one episode. Um, yeah, Christopher Chance just... First, it wasn't cool to just parade around with Tommy's face. That was uncalled for. I mean, I was... I, like, I was like, wait, what? How? And of course... Uh, so, Christopher must have been the, uh, the guy that, you know, Diggle rescued in Kaznia, so... Okay. Because uh, I was thinking, well, it doesn't say it's a flashback, it just says Kaznia. And uh, Diggle looked like he was wearing his Argus stuff, so... Um, yeah. But yeah, parading around in Tommy's face. Not good. Especially the fact that I wanted Tommy back, and I was so happy when Tommy came back in episode 8, and uh, 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 not just that, but him being the Prometheus of Earth, Earth X as well. Um, you could have been someone else. I was a childhood friend of Oliver's. But just hit us in the feels. Um... Yeah, it was it was just really really awesome though. It was an awesome you know plot device, but also heartbreaking as well. Especially the fact that he you know uh, was the judge, uh, and that inevitably led to the real judge getting killed by Diaz. So it, it was interesting how they brought back Christopher Chance to you know kind of to save Oliver's bacon, and um, yeah. Really, really interesting. It, it, it's a, it's a effective way it seems, but ugh. just play with our feels. Why don't you? Um, yeah, it was just really, really. I was wondering, like, who the hell was you know that coming down as the Green Arrow? Of course, um, Dinkle said he had a plan, and uh, that was the plan. But you, you know, you're wondering who the hell is it? And then he took the mask off, and I recognize that face anywhere, of course. And I was just, because it couldn't have been Earth X Tommy, of course. Uh, he, and plus, he wouldn't be that kind enough to, you know, support Oliver, anyways. I mean, he he was manipulating Oliver in episode eight, anyways. Uh, like with that, you know, sympathetic crap that he gave, and then you know he showed his true self, which was really, really deliciously done. Um, yeah, I was just thinking, who the hell could it be? Unless you know they went to Earth Two and got Tommy there, but. You know, I don't even know if Tommy still exists on that. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, Tommy could be, you know, they could, you know, Tommy could be, I don't know, female. You never, you never know. I mean, that's why you were thinking, what the hell is going on in that? And of course, Christopher Chance. Reasonable, of course, but heartbreaking. Um... But yeah, it was just very, very interesting to see him return. I'm wondering if, like, there will be more, like, well, he he has teased, it seems like he will be coming back, like, next year, possibly. Like, oh, like it, it seemed it was coming, because he only appeared once last year, and he seems to be appearing once this year, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's like that. Okay, well, whenever there's a little bit of a complicated issue... Just throw him in, so, yeah. Um, it was all, awesome seeing Hale as well, like, the actress who plays um, General Hale on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, um, be against Oliver, like, in, in the courtroom. It was just really, really bizarre. And, uh, yeah, now, first Coulson, now um, Hale, she just doesn't know when to quit, does she? But, yeah, it was just really, really bizarre just to see. Some bizarre things happen. Hale comes in, Tommy comes in... Christopher Chance makes a comeback, and it was just really, really interesting. And, and also, Renee, you know, kissing and making up with Oliver, basically. Um, but to be fair, it was the right thing. I mean, they did talk about, you know, well, yeah, you know, the stuff we, uh, the opinions we have on Oliver. Yeah, we might not agree with him, but we, if there's one thing we can all agree on, it's that Oliver shouldn't go to jail. So, and, I mean, at least they, they, you know, have that. Because I think if they went edit the other way, I think it would be shitty, a, a shitty idea to write, to be fair, if they were like, yeah, let's just not help Oliver, I mean, he's he's a dick or whatever, because uh, truth be told, I would fear that they would go that way, but thankfully they had some common sense and we were like, yeah, well, we had, uh, we are quite opinionated on Oliver, but he, he shouldn't go to jail, so great stuff, especially, with, you know, when you want to be in Renee's shoes, I mean, you, you don't... Like, especially if, well, I mean, William has Felicity, but, um, like, if 
this was Renee, so it would be taken away, but, you know, Felicity could, you know, end up having a random heart attack or whatever, and then, you know, William's all alone, so, yeah. Um, I would, I wonder, like, if William had to be in, you know, protection or whatever, like, if he had to change his name to Connor Hawk or whatever, I don't know. I think that would be the, you know, best course of action if Oliver was sentenced, uh, if he was guilty of being the Green Arrow and they, you know, came after Felicity, you'd have to change their name, so it would be hard. It, it would be like the Damien Dark situation, only this would be even worse, considering, you know, all the enemies who I guess are still alive would be coming after the remnants of Oliver's family, so... Um, yeah, but uh, Oliver's safe for another day, so... Uh, yeah, it was, it was very, very interesting to see what they pulled in for this trial, and thankfully, it, it was all well and good. It was all well and good... Uh, for now, of course, and, uh, well, for now I say that, of course, now that Diaz has his plan, of course, to kill, to basically go the cliched route of just killing everyone that, you know, the hero loves, and then killing Oliver along the way, or whatever, um, I wonder why the hell he didn't, you know, kill, I, I don't wish this, don't do this, but, I mean, he gave Laurel that ultimatum, you know, basically live or die, um, you know, you testify or bad shit's going to happen. And of course, Laurel, uh, Laurel decided to, you know, aid Oliver. And, uh, you know, that, it, it was just, it was just so great. I'm sure she was looking at the camera after, you know, she, you know, gave her speech and that, uh, just to say to Diggle, hi, bitch. <laughs> uh, Diggle? Diaz. I'm sure I said Diggle, but whatever. Yeah, I, but I'm, I was sure that she was looking at the, uh, camera just to basically gloat at him because uh Quentin with that word of advice of course um you know standing up to him and thankfully she's done that thankfully she's now seen that you know being by Diaz's side is just you know it's toxic and it's bad for her and uh I mean yes she might have been she might have been a bad influence with her you know um early days as Black Simon from what we've seen like bringing down buildings being a villain and all that especially siding with Prometheus but it all goes back to the redemption and we don't want to lose this hope of her redeeming and now she's, you know, finally back on track. So, uh, especially with the fact that she's, you know, shown her disgust at Diaz for these last couple of episodes and um, now she has realised that Diaz is bad news. So, yeah. And I and thank God as well that they were going to go that route of, you know, doing the same... Um, like, of Laurel doing the same thing that she did to Vincent to Diaz, uh, which was, yeah, the Canary Crying Disease. But she was monologuing! That's a villain's route, and, yeah, she was mon- Well, she wasn't really monologuing, but she, I would have just cut straight- Done it. Just done it. Um, but, yeah, he he was, like, ahead of her, so that was- That was great. Uh, I wonder why he didn't kill her, though. Like, I'm, I'm sure if, you know, she betrayed you, I'm sure Diaz would have had the, you know, he would have had the... I, I don't think he would have lost sleep, basically, if he killed Laurel. So, especially after, you know, she just, just betrayed him. So, and, you know, Diaz is that kind of character anyways, unless he does need her. I mean, sure, he could just kill her in front of Oliver so he could he could watch Laurel die twice, but... I mean, I think Diaz would just, you know, just get on with it if, uh, uh, yeah, I think he would just get on with it, in my opinion, uh, rather than, you know, just waste time or whatever. I mean, he is a really relentless character, so, yeah. But, uh, no, this was, this was decent stuff. It, it had some surprises, because I was sure that Oliver was going to get, you know, sentenced or whatever, because it, it did look, I mean, it did look pretty damning. But still, he's a hero. Cut up some shit. I mean, yes, he's killed, but heroes... <laughs> this is why... Th see, now I understand why Barry's like, uh, we don't kill, because he doesn't want to go through that shit again. But to be fair, I mean, it's not... I mean, if you're really going on about killing, I mean, he's killed aliens, he's killed neo-Nazis, and they're still, you know, humans. So what's the difference? <laughs> well, they're not as extreme, I guess. Uh, well, some of the people that he's killed are not extreme or whatever, but... Still, um, he's, he saved Earth bunches, he saved Star City Earth a bunch of times, like, cut him some slack, okay? Um, no, 
honestly, uh, all jokes aside, it was it was really really neat. I, like I said, it, I thought it was a uh, it was better than the trial of uh, Barry Allen. Of course, it was not well, it was not perfect, but it was really really more. I felt really really more in, invested with this than you know trial of Barry Allen. So um, really really decent stuff. Christopher Chance, I just... Ha- I can see why, you know, Seska says hate, because, of course, the same actor who plays Christopher Chance plays... Um, I've forgotten his name. On Jessica Jones. Uh, I've forgotten his name. Um, Simpson. Yeah, Will. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, she hates him, so I can see why now. With that Tommy gag. Nope, nope, nope. But, um, no, that was decent stuff. I just really, really enjoyed it. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles! Ooh.